on the 508 series, right? So what if they are? It's been almost 14 years now. Since I returned from Milsha, that is. Out in the fields, I took apart so many of them to get what I was looking for. It was a lot of work, you know. What with that dual stage protection they got and all. Dual stage? Lieutenant, you consumed their neuro... But of course, they were quite delicious. How could you? That's when I found out about the control code. It's quite a convenient function you put in there. <gasps> That's right. I'm going to have these marionettes hold off the Gnosis for us. Just like... This! Stop it! What do you think they are? This is a clear violation of- Of their rights? That's for peacetime, lady. You think I don't know the Milshan Charter? Milshan Charter, Article 4, Paragraph 13. Weapons-grade reallians are required to be equipped with a remotely accessible behavioral limit and self-destruct system in case of emergency or malfunction. Use of these functions will be determined by the senior officer in charge of the situation. Am I right? Well, that time is now. And I am the conductor. I intend to make full use of my orchestra. Why haven't you disabled that function? Sure, it's factory loaded, but you of all people shouldn't have any trouble removing it. Since you care about them so much, all it would take is a little tweak and they'd be free as birds. And yet you don't. Why not? Because company protocol dictates... Exactly. It's protocol. In other words, you're just like me, bound by that protocol. We're the ones that give them a reason to live. Am I wrong? But I... That's the difference between us and them. Am I wrong? So why not give it to them? A meaning to their pitiful existence! Damn you, Virgil. Damn you to hell. You killed them for nothing. Is he glowing a little bit? He's definitely glowing a little bit. What the hell's going on with you, Virgil? Shit, looks like it's all over for us. Where to go? What is she doing there? 
seen her before? Not safe there. Run. <laughs> Run away. What are you doing, little girl? It's no use. My voice. Oh, Will. These are weird thoughts to be I having right before you die. Going to die. Down goes Shion. No? The hell is our... <laughs> She made it! It's not over yet! Cosmos is awesome. What are you doing here? Cosmos helped everyone escape. They're all on the training ship. Now we need to get you out of here. Yeah, we need to go. They can have the freaking Zohar. I don't even know what's good for anyway. the Hilbert effect. No way! She, like, brought them in our plane of existence? Brought them to our world? Whatever they're talking about? Holy crap. You better be getting massive experience for this, Cosmos. I'm gonna level up some shit. Smothered. I think Cosmos gives a fuck. I don't believe it. Oh, looks like we got some more. What the hell? Got two of them. Where the hell do those things come from? Where the hell do any of her weapons come from? <laughs> she can just summon them in. Xion. Uh, yes. So, so. We will not proceed to Hangar One. That way? There is a 99.998% probability that the Gnosis target is the object stored in that hangar. So let's My assigned duties are huh? to verify and preserve the integrity of that object, and to protect the Vector staff members. Uh, but... I... Life pods are located on the second level of the hangar. Please use one to escape. Cosmos... Ch chief Wait, her assigned duties are to protect that object? Since when? Who gave you those duties? Is that another eggs unit? No. It's the one that picked up the gun. And it's boss time. Long ass spiral <laughs> of a boss time. Is that like two of them? Oh, don't you do this to me, game. Not... No. What? No. Game? Okay, whatever. I had to hit a button. What the hell's going on, game? I'm hitting something off screen. What's going on? There it is! Um... If this is a glitch, this is the first time I've ever encountered this glitch. Uh, I'd love to blame it on an emulator. <laughs> I'm not using an emulator. Okay, uh, so we're going to just have this in a black background. Uh, this guy, this is Cyclops. Um, you do not want to use ether attacks against him. 
at all. Uh, this is Virgil. I don't know if he has, like, tech attacks, uh, but this guy is weak to Lightning Blast. It probably would have been good if I had leveled that up, uh, but I didn't. I should be fine without it, though. Cosmos should be able to kick it, kick ass and take names. Virgil. Oh! Don't know what that is. That is a status effect. And, like I said, I don't know what it is. Okay. Sword, our blade. Unfortunately, this is all off screen for whatever reason. There we go. 96. We're getting there. Uh, I will save that. So, you rush, rush. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. He doesn't have anything good at all. So, what is going on with the game? I don't know. I don't have another copy of the game! So, it better not fuck with me too bad here. Okay. You just go ahead and do that. And then, hopefully... Cosmos gets her turn right then, huh? Okay, uh, and then end. And then, well, end there too. And then I'm, I'm gonna go for points. Physical defense down, so that's what that's for. Uh, didn't do that much damage anyway, so I'm okay with that. Go ahead and go for the rush again. He does not have tech attack, so nothing's going on there. This is the weirdest thing I have ever encountered in, in this game so far. Okay, uh, that wasn't enough for the victory. It wasn't 100, it was like 40, right? Yeah, like 40. Okay, so, 79. It's up to you, Cosmos. You better get this done with an R blade. Uh, if you use ether attacks, he can get a counter. Uh, the counter will do 100 to your whole party, so you want to finish him off without using anything like that. And we do get the points. How many points? Times two. Hoping for more, but I'll take oh, times two. Clear. And once again, the game has glitched out on me. And we're back to normal. Okay. That was weird. Um, damn. That is a lot of money I got out of that. Uh, Virgil is apparently a higher level than we are. <laughs> We're getting tech points, ether points. Very, very nice. And a uh, small machine gun. I think I already had one of those equipped. Not too difficult. Uh, just keep in mind, no, no ether attacks. That was the strangest thing. That is... That is nothing. I like your outfit, Cosmos. She's got like a ton of anything going on. And out they fly. Out into space. She does not care. <laughs> Just does not give a crap. Really, Chief, I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack just watching you. I feel like I'm having a heart attack playing this game because it glitched out on me for a second there. Like I said, I've never had that happen to me before. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Uh, don't know what caused it. We're just going to move on. Here you go. It's the Prototype Eggs VX 10,000 transport capsule that HQ sent over. At least it's better than nothing. You know how to use it, right? Yeah, I know how to use the eggs. Not a big fan of it, though. And to be honest, neither are most people. <laughs> it's not nearly as bad as uh, Xenogears was with the mechs, but they're th it's definitely a lot more fun using the characters if you can. Of course, I just got a little confused with all that's been going on. Oh, was I supposed to use it? <laughs> I, I didn't need to. Please be more careful, okay? I don't know what I'll do if anything were to happen to you. You'd go into a deep, dark depression, I know. Why? I wasn't paying attention to you admitting that you loved me. Nothing, let's go. Let's find an escape pod quickly and get out of here. Or... <laughs> and this is a big or... I could take on this guy right here. Give me plus criticals. 
There you go, no more glitch. Cosmos. Let's go. Let's go, Cosmos. And we're up against Manticores here. These guys are not going to be nearly as difficult, especially since I can use Spell Ray against them, and I believe that is actually more effective. Yeah, down that one goes. And Cosmos might not be able to take care of this one by herself. Now, hopefully, Virgil can take care of him. Yeah, rifle shot, rifle shot. Yeah, go Virgil. Virgil's gonna get me some points. Points times four. I will take it. You're doing fine, Cosmos. You're doing damn fine. I'll clean you anytime you want, though, baby. And Xion gets a level up out of that. Not very many points out of that whatsoever. No money, either. Not very, yeah, these guys are not supposed to be that tough. But every time we do encounter new stuff, it is always good to see what we get. And we can get an ether pack and a med kit out of there. Anything else for us to destroy? No. Okay. So, we'll just continue heading east. And here... It looks like we have encountered something. But we also have these guys here. I want to take them on. I want to take on everything that is in our path. I've come this far. I can't lose now. We got flying enemies. We got gremlins. Uh, let's go ahead and use a spell ray. This is why I leveled it up that much. Looks like they have a counter boost. Should I use either attacks though? Hopefully I can finish them off. Uh, yeah, the, the spell does point that direction, which is kind of weird. Down it goes. Are you going to get me points? Yes, you are. But only because you got critical. Points times four. I will take it. Nice gremlin. Uh, it... W okay, counter boosts work different than regular boosts. Uh, should I attack him and he does have his turn, he can't actually counter boost and then get his turn. It, it's quite annoying, actually. Spread beam! That actually did a decent amount of damage. What the hell are you doing? Damn you! I am going to kill you and just ignore the points. I got, I got one of you for points times four. No, oh, no, you're already dead. Down he goes. Down, 5%. Gian, I need to be Damn, we are just scoping her in every little cutscene, aren't we? It's just like, here's an ass shot, here's a boob shot. Even though they're completely covered. Oh, I think the Japanese know that sex sells. So, we can head up here. And if I remember right, no. We don't have to take the long way around if only the partition was open. Press the switch, we could, and actually I will. Yes, I understand, the doors are opening. I pressed the button, just open the door. And I bet there's gonna be Gnosis on the other side. There aren't. Interesting. And I think I can just head up to her room. Um, yeah, let's just go to her room. Just head right up here and over to her room and back to the save point. And that is actually going to do it for these parts of Hell Yes, I Want to Rest. I need my HP and EP back. That's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by a glitchy game. And also, Shion, Cosmos, and Virgil. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>